here with Hatun Tosh and Jay Smith to talk about what happened yesterday. To them, to, yesterday was a pretty eventful day, wasn't it? It was. So we went to Speaker's Corner with um, our 26 different Arabic Qurans to talk about it. And why did we do that, Hatun? Uh, why we do that? First of all, um, one of the reasons we do that because Muslims haven't been open about their holy book. Muslim makes a claim that there is only one Quran. You go to Morocco, you go to Indonesia, you go to England, everyone recites the exactly the same Quran. So they tell us. That's what they tell us. And they tell us every Quran is the exactly the and same. And we've always believed it, haven't we? Because we are good people. We well, believe no, what people we say. didn't do any investigation. It was you two years ago in 2015 uh, that you got a hold of a Warsh Quran. And you have an example of a Warsh Quran here. No, this now, is not exactly a Warsh one, but this is one of the Warsh, because Warsh has three um, Three Quran's. different yeah. renditions of it, but yeah. the Warsh is very popular in North Africa. Yeah. You were in North Africa, you got a copy of it, and you just decided to take a look at the Warsh Quran and compare these two Qurans, the Warsh with yeah. the Hafs. Now, this is the one that we use all over the world. Supposedly, we've been told this is the only Quran, the Arabic, not the English. We're not yes. talking about translation here. We're talking about the Arabic. And this is what we use here in Britain. It's, uh, as you say, anywhere there around the world. The Hafs is considered to be the standard, the canonical text. Officialized Quran, yes. Officialized in 1924. Yeah. And when you looked at this one and you compared it with this one, you saw that there were quite a few variations. So, um, in the beginning, I saw there were only a couple of drawings that were different. And I was like, oh, why is that? And then I went to Arabic speaker and then I asked them what, it, what they mean. Arabic speaker told me, oh, they are different. It changed the meaning. Soon after I heard that, I started comparing more. As we compare more, we find more. Now, you're not an Arabic speaker, are no, you? No, I'm not. And I'm not an Arab speaker. I've had two years of Arabic, but we would not be called Arabists. Or there's no way in the world that we could do this work of really doing comparison Arabic no. with Arabic. So because of that, we go to the people who speak Arabic, who know Arabic, who know Arabic grammar, so you went to an who Arabic also scholar. teach Arabic. There you go. Yes, we went to Arabic uh, speakers and Arabic uh, teachers and then asked them to confirm the findings we find. And you sat down and different. for the last two years you have been going back and forth. Now you have found not just one, you have found 26 different Arabic Qurans that from differ Hafs. from the Hafs, yes. the original. And these are all modern Qurans, aren't they? Yes, they are. You can go and then buy this from the different countries from Africa to Middle East. Where, where are some of the country, countries you, you can, bought this You can buy it from Yemen, from Sudan, from Jordan, from Egypt. Okay, so really these are available. Anybody can go to any marketplace in any of the Arab, mm. Arab speaking countries and you can buy these Qurans. Yeah. Of course, you can't buy it every bookshop, but there are the bookshops sells it. So you okay. just go and then ask them if they have any different reading of the Quran. I want to show you this one here. This one is Hisham ibn Ahmad. And we did this on the ladder yesterday. But when you look at it, you will see it has the red letter. So they even show you where the differences are. One, two, three, four, right here on this page. Yep. These are, they, they don't even try to hide this. They put in the margins where the variants are. They show you where the variants are. Yeah. So um, in some of the Qurans, we've got color code, which tells us this color code, this word is different in Hafs Quran. Okay. So some of the Qurans makes our lives very easier. Yet, some of them hasn't done that. For example, in here, I've got one of the uh, Warsh um, Al-Azak Quran, Al-Azak Race Quran. This doesn't tell me color code. I have to compare the graphs and drawings to figure out if so there is had different to go or not. Now, yeah. You have found, and you have spent two years working on this, and I want to commend you for all the work you have done. And you have found 45,377 differences. 39. 45,339. 39. I was two less. Okay, so... Sorry. 45,000. Now, we wanted to show the world this. Now, last year, we didn't really show the world the differences. We didn't have yeah. time to, and yet still there was, there was an enormous eruption. So yesterday, uh, July the 3rd, 2017. July the 2nd. July the 2nd, sorry, two days ago. So I'm off two days. Two, uh, two days ago, July the 2nd, we went on the ladder again, this time to show the world what the differences were. Yeah. And we did that, didn't we? Yes, we tried to do that. Now, you had about 70 slides that we just took at random. Uh, we, there are 45,000, there's too many to show. So we just chose 70, and yeah. you wanted to try to get it from as many different ones of the 26 as possible to show you it's not just Wash and Huffs that have a problem. It's Huffs with every all the other 26. Yeah. 
And we got up on the ladder, and we only showed about, what, 15 or 20? I'm not even sure we showed, got through 20 of them. We showed only a couple of them. Just a couple of them. Uh, we haven't continued. First of all, we don't have that much time. Plus, I think it's very important that Muslims are open about those variations, and they produce something for us. I don't think, as a Christian, I should be producing a book or a paper which tells us, oh, my dear Muslim friend, here's the variations in your Quran. Muslims should be open about it, and they should have been produced something for us. And you are the first one that I know of that has actually got taken the time to find these variations, put them side by side, put them on slides so that everybody can look at them. Now, those 70 of them we wanted to show yesterday, we could only show a few. What we're going to do, and for those who are watching, we're going to show all of the 70 at the end of this video. We will be showing all of them so you can see them one after another, put up on your screen so you can go and look and study them for yourself. Go and if you don't speak Arabic, go to those who do speak Arabic and see if they do change the meaning. In every case, we found they change the meaning, yes. sometimes very substantial, sometimes very tertiary, not, not, not as much. The fact that even in one case they would change the meaning is a problem, is it not? Yeah, because claim is it is exactly the same. But that's not the case. So uh, I think it would be pretty, it should be pretty damaging for Islam, even if it's only one consonantal letter is changing. Well, but, obviously, if this is going to be... But we've got thousands of that. They claim it's eternal. They claim it has never been created. They claim it was sent down to Muhammad uh, in between 610 and 632. Yeah. They claim that it was finalized by Uthman in 652. And they claim not one letter has changed. Yeah. And certainly, if there are changes, as they're try now admitting, it's only seven different changes. We destroyed that yesterday yeah. by showing these were all destroyed by Uthman in 652. These all come after Uthman. In fact, they come in primarily in the 9th and sometimes in the 10th yeah. century. We look at the Islamic tradition and then we see in um, 839, for example, uh, they are talking about someone compiled 25 different variations in 839. And as you go to the 900s, you see people are talking about 50 different variations. So I guess one of the questions will be, when those, a Muslim says it's 10 reading or 7 reading, when this has been canonized, uh, we will hopefully find them out very soon. And for sure, those are the not Qurans which Allah revealed to Muhammad, not because we will never know what we Allah revealed know. to Muhammad. Now, while, while I'm going to continue, I want you to find that graph. We can just show them real quickly that graph. You will see them react. There is reaction while we're doing this yesterday. There were reaction from those who were all there in the crowd. Mansur Ahmad wanted us to get off the ladder. He wanted to debate to us face to face. That reaction was quite vociferous yesterday. And we okay. even saw one man try to try to knock the camera man and the camera back. He was he did it not once but twice that I could see. We had to calm yeah. them down. But what was interesting is almost every Muslim that stopped to listen walked away. Yeah. Here's the thing. Um, as a Christian, we step into the Islamic world to respond to those claims Muslim makes about their holy book because we do concern for their souls. Right. Their imams, their scholars haven't published those books and they didn't make those informations to available to every Muslim. That's right. So as a Christian, we step in and then we say, here's the information. Muslims, can, we, can you please unpack those informations? For the sake of God, please be people. transparent, like yeah. we have with the Bible. You need to be equally transparent. Yeah, I can go and buy the critical edition of the Bible, but it is sad. 2017, you cannot buy the critical edition of the Quran. So we're helping with that. In a sense, yeah. we are creating a critical edition of the Quran, and yeah. we're showing that there is now. Well, if you add this one, 27 different Qurans. Yeah. Hopefully, Muslims will produce something for us very soon, and it will be accessible to every Muslims. And every Christian stood, look at it and challenge Now, it. yesterday it really boiled over when we were starting to leave. And as we were leaving, some of the younger Muslims really wanted our Qurans. They did not want us to leave with those Qurans. It was almost as if they owned the Qurans. They could not understand how you could own the Qurans. So we, we get a couple of compliments uh, after being called lots of names that we wrote those Qurans. Um, I did take that as a compliment because Muslim thought my Arabic was good enough. 
and I was rich enough to publish those Qurans. Twenty-six different variations, yeah. all done by Hatun Tash. Yeah. Or uh, uh, we've been told they are fake, yet all of them has the name of the company who published them. They are all come from the Muslim countries. So you can go and have access to them. It's not I produced any book or it's not I fake in any book. They are all exist out we there. Had, we had to actually flee the corner. They continued to follow. You didn't see it, but they continued no, we to follow us for 400 yards. Side. Even across the other street, they were still trying to grab the Qurans out of our bags. It, we had to physically protect them. Because it is sensitive topic. It is the thing they put their eternity on. It is they are depend on. And suddenly, as a Christian, you turn up and then you believe. tell them, there is something wrong. You have been For lied to all these years. You have been lying to. He is the evidence. That is that is emotional and that is heartbreaking, and it is sad. So you can see it is sensitive topic for Muslims. Listen, Hatun, I want to thank you for all the work you've done. You now watch the video. Go and see what we showed yesterday. I'm sorry, on Sunday, and then you look at the other slides that we're going to show at the end of this video, and then you come to conclusions. And especially you Muslims. Don't sit there and vilify her. Don't get upset with Hatun Tash. She didn't do any of these changes. These changes have been around since the ninth century. We're going to show you all 70 of the slides. We could have 45,000 in the future. Right now, there are 70. And I want every one of you Muslims to look at it, compare the Arabic with Arabic, look and see how they change the meaning, and look at the theological differences that we have put in there. This is not really nitty. This is not something done by accident. This is proof that the Quran is made by man, changed by man, incre accreted and deleted by man. Now, that's not such a hard thing to listen to or hear to, but you need to accept it. This is not a book that comes from heaven. It does not come from Muhammad. It doesn't even come from Uthman. What we're showing now, really, is that this is, comes from a man-made book like all other books. Uh, and that's why we are doing this work. God bless you. Here's the Quran. This is the book we're going to look at today. We're going to ask some damaging questions about this book. This is the holy book of Islam. We know that Muslims honor this book. We are not here as hate preachers, but we are going to ask damaging questions. And some of you Muslims are going to get angry at what we're going to say today. We understand your anger. We did this a year ago, and some of you Muslims want to throw us off the ladder. Because the claims you make about this book, we're going to not only look at those claims, but we're going to confront those claims. Now, Hatu, some of the claims they make about the Quran are what? Uh, it's been for a long time we hear from Muslims that they will tell us Quran is the eternal word of Allah. The eternal word of Allah. Am I correct? Do you Muslims believe that this is eternal? Any Muslims here? Yes. What happened to all the yes, Muslims? They, they do believe. Okay, come forward, sir. Is this an eternal book? Yes, okay. Yes. He said that. What's okay. the second claim they made? They will claim that it was sent down man called Muhammad who lived in from 570 to 600. Okay. The second claim is that this book was sent down to a man named Muhammad between 610 and 632. Is that your claim? Yes or no? Yes, it is. Before, before Jesus yes, yes or no? I don't want to hear a sermon. Before Jesus Tell me yes Muslim. or no. Is that your claim? Come forward. Come in. Come forward. Come forward. No, I mean, I'm okay. Go forward, man. Listen, don't you. be shy. Oh, he wants to walk away. Go forward, folks. We need to see if the Muslims make this claim. Are there any other Muslims here? What's happened to all the Muslims? That's fine. Please. Can we get one Muslim to support their Quran? We have a huge okay. crowd here, but not one of you are Muslims. That's fine. That's fine. Are you a Muslim? Okay. Thanks, We're going to have to go assuming that the, so, the Muslims are correct. So it was sent down men called Muhammad from 610 to 632 
and then museums will tell us it is complete second edition under the caliph Uthman. Oh, wait, 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 second edition. Where's the first edition? All Are right. you telling me there's two editions of the Quran? Um, um, Islamic tradition tells me Muhammad failed to leave book behind himself. So the first Abu problem is this. There was no Quran left when Muhammad died. Yes, he failed to leave book called Quran behind himself. What is the whole purpose of Muhammad if it is not to receive a revelation and to leave that revelation behind? If yes. you're telling me he had no revelation there when he died, then does that not come to basically question what is his purpose? Exactly. Welcome to the world of Islam. So, so what do prophets do? They prophesy. They, would they pass receive the revelation. revelations. They write down those revelations. Have all the prophets written revelations? Not all of them. Did David write a revelation? Did Moses write a revelation? Yes. Did Jesus write a revelation? No, no he no, didn't. No, no. Jesus is the revelation himself. He is the revelation. So, so as Muhammad failed to leave book behind himself, first Caliph Abu Bakr compiled hey, quick, Quran. Stop again. Why did he fail to leave a revelation behind? Why did he not write it down himself? <laughs> Besides him to be hopeless. He could not read or write. Okay, that, stop that right there. That cannot be excuse. That cannot be I wanna, excuse. I want to I I I break that out. Now, let's look at God in his wisdom. Why would God choose to send the greatest revelation, the final revelation, this book, to a man who could not read or write? Does or, that make sense to you? No, no. no! Okay, you've got another problem. Okay. Are or, you starting to add up these problems? It is not only he couldn't read and write, he didn't even bother to tell people to compile it. He could tell people to write it down, but he didn't do that. Did he so, not have a secretary? He did. Zaid Zaid. Ibn Thabit? Yes. He did. And what, do Zaid, what did Zaid Ibn Thabit do? What his, was his job? His job was to be scribe, write the things to down. To scribe what Muhammad yeah. said. So why did Zaid ibn Thabit not write it down while Muhammad was still living, if that was his job? Are you seeing? We're coming up with a number of problems here. Yeah. Okay, that's the third problem so, we've come up with. So, no Quran after Muhammad, Abu no, Bakr... during Muhammad. During the Muhammad, Abu Bakr urged to compile the Quran, which he compiled the Quran that takes place around 630 to 634, and then that Quran stays with someone called Hafsa, wife of Muhammad. One of the wives of Muhammad took that Quran. That's the first recension, yeah. the first edition. She puts it under her bed. It stays there for 20 years. And first edition is compiled because they were scared they are going to lose the Quran. Second edition steps in around 650s under the Caliph Uthman. So the third Caliph comes around in the 650s, in 652. Yeah. to be precise. And what happens next? So, Uthman ordered to compile one perfect copy. It is because now people start disagreeing with one another regarding the what is the Quran, how, how Quran needs to be read, how Quran needs to be recited. So, around 650s, we've got one perfect Quran compiled uh, under a guy Backup. called Uthman. You're going way too fast. She's going way too fast, isn't she? Yes. I have some questions. Why in the world did they need to write a second Quran? If they already had the first? That's a good question. She paid it. That's Wait a minute. If this first one written by Abu Bakr in 632 and 634 already existed, why did Uthman 20 years later need to write a second one down? Because that was not good enough. That was not good enough. They compiled the Are you saying copy. it is different then? What do you mean, it is not good enough? It wasn't I good enough. I thought it was perfect. I thought yes. the Quran was eternal. Didn't the Muslims already tell us it was eternal? Yeah. So how can you say it's not good enough? Because that one came from Muhammad, did it not? So when the Quran compiled, we hear from the Islamic tradition, a ship comes and then it's the eternal word of Allah. Now we oh. talked about that last week. We, we, and we went through that, yeah. didn't we? We read from the Islamic tradition, People, can, uh, some verses are cancelled, some chapters people couldn't remember. In the time of Uthman, now people are disagreeing what is it, how you read the Quran. So people in Azerbaijan, in the world, they are calling each other kafir because of the way, because of the Quran. Saying. Can you all hear her? Yes. Don't worry, 
This will all be up on YouTube tomorrow. You can see it for yourself. You will see exactly what she's saying. So here you have, 20 years later, the Ekaid of Uthman is in power. There are different Qurans, is what you're telling me. There are different, what do you call them? Different readings? Uh, uh, <laughs> different word of God. Different words word of, of God. God. Because people are accusing one another as kafir. You I, are not I want a Muslim to help me here. Me. Why did Uthman have to write that, a that second a Quran? Muslim. Help me here. Come forward. Come. What's your name, sir? Come forward. Let me just film it. What's Sain, your name? Sain. 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 Okay, Sain. Nice to meet you, sir. Let me just I'll stay here. First of all, your information that you're providing to these people yeah. is all wrong. Yeah. Right. Okay, where are we wrong? I'll tell you why you are wrong. Oh, this Uthman didn't bring a new Quran in. Uthman gathered the Quran in one book because at that time they didn't have the printers and digital printing which we have now and that's why Uthman and he put the final thing in one single book okay. not even a single word has changed from Quran okay. did you hear me say it? Let me not me. even a no. single word has no. changed are you no. going to stand by that okay. sir? let me respond Zayn. let me back up my claims okay. book called Sahih Bukhari do you know this? It is translated by Muslims, written by Muslims. Okay. Who is Sahih Bukhari, sir? Sahih Bukhari is a, a follower of Prophet Muhammad. Who is did he well live in the time of Muhammad? He didn't, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. A follower of the religion, a very good um, a religious person who no. is committed to his What did he do? So what was his? Very, what very did he good religious us? person. Very good. Let me finish. Very good religious person, Bukhari. And you Sahih him, Bukhari, right? yes. volume 6, turn on the page and then it tells me what I just summarized okay, for you first. Say it, say it, say it. So, first it tells us it is compiled under the Abu Bakr and then you come to the next hadith, it tells us that Quran, people were disagreeing regarding the that Quran, they compiled and made one perfect Quran. You are such I'll read a... It. Give it to me. Uh, uh, let I'll me read, read it. it. You're I'm going to read it. is telling lies. Are we I'm telling, telling lies, folks? Yeah. He's not, he's not Should we read it for you? He's not a raised voice. He's not He's telling lies. Give it to me. I'll read it. And I'll explain it to other people. Uh, I'll read it. Let's read it together. Who are you, sir? Let's are you a scholar? No, I'm not. But let's read and it together. Are you? I have a doctorate in this area. Thank you very much. Well let's, done. Dr. Let's, J. Well done. Good for let's you. read it together. I am a scholar. Let's read it together, sir. I apologize for my English. When there's lies, can I just interrupt? When there are lies, Told in a front Where have I lied let's, so far? Let's um, say if Sahih Bukhari is lying. Let me read it. Read it. I, I am going to read it for you, okay? okay let's read, read it together. It is Sahih Bukhari, volume 6, hadith number 4986 to 4987. Page number is 425. Okay. It is written by a Muslim for us and it is translated by a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Narrated Anas bin Malik. Hudayfa bin Al Yaman come to Uthman at the time when people of Sham and people of Iraq were war waging war to conquer Armenia and Azerbaijan. Hudayfa was afraid of their people of Sham and Iraq difference in the recitation of the Quran. Did you so hear her say that? He it's said to Uthman. In the recitation of the Quran. And That's what he said. In the recitation of the Quran. No changes. No, no, yes, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, I'm go coming. for it. Go I'm for coming. it. So, hang on with that. so he said to Uthman, O oh, chief of believers, save this nation before they differ about the book. Before the Quran. They differ, differ about, about the, the book. book. Okay. But you said this is carry just recitation. On, carry on. No verses of Quran has okay, changed. So it's at still all. the same yes. text. It's still the they, same text. They text. differ. They will Sorry. differ on just a second. They if were they different differ, according to Tabari. They were calling one another. They were calling if one they, another. If they, if they differ, let me just tell you something. If they differ, they will differ in translations of it. This is not translation. This is Arabic. No one is talking, talking about translation. They are talking about These Arabic. Are Arabic. Their Quran. perception of it is different. Sorry. There are some. Is there a different translation between Abu Bakr and Uthman? No, no, no. Are no, they no. speaking the same People, language? Are, talking, are they both speaking are Arabic? No, no. Do they we, spoke, we both not. speak the Qurayshi dialect? Once you finish. I'll Do they go. both speak the Qurayshi dialect? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. What is the Qurayshi dialect? Okay, I'll tell you. Arabic. That's what they do. Which is, which is the Qurayshi dialect? 
What do you mean by that? You don't know what the Qureshi dialect no, is. I don't know. You said that. you sh you knew this. I no no I know that Quran never changed. That's what yeah, I know. That's okay. What she's saying. But what so she's why saying, would you need to write it again? If it's he a different recitation. It. He didn't write it again. So what he is the recitation, it, sir? He just put what it is the recitation? One, he just put it in one single book. That will be gathered for the whole Islamic nation. Okay, are you hearing? And that's one why it's happening One single book that will be governed for the whole one. of time. And if you read the Quran... Oh, sir, let's, let's finish it. Let's finish it. Send us the manuscripts of the Quran as that we may compile the Quranic materials in perfect copies. But it's and, already perfect. And no, they were not return, perfect. return to the oh. manuscripts to you. Did you hear him say that? So they this, were not perfect this, 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 to begin with. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. No, 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 Thank you. You. That's exactly yeah, what Al Buhari is saying as well. So you are agreeing with Al Buhari. You've been speaking, sir. The gathering of Quran at that time. They were not perfect. Oh. He put Thank it you. In. He said yeah. that second However, just so it needed to be made perfect. No, 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 no. The contents of these books, they were 100% accurate, but it wasn't. Wait, he just gathered. contradicted himself. No, 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 no. 100% accurate, but they According were perfect. According to Sahih Bukhari. How could they not be perfect, but they're 100% accurate? According to Sahih Bukhari. But what I'm saying, so that we may compile the Quranic materials in perfect copies and return to the manuscripts to Hafsa. Hafsa send it to the Uthman and then that takes place. Does that take place? Uthman orders all manuscripts to be burned. Okay, sir, did you hear that? What did she just read? Read it again, please. <laughs> read it again. I'll read it again. After he compiled the final manuscript, okay? Then what did Uthman do next? Go for it. In case you disagree with Zayn Bitabit on any point of the Quran, write it in the dialect of Quraysh. The Quraysh dialect. And it goes on. Uh, Uthman ordered Quranic materials, whether written, fragment, or manuscript, or whole copies, to be so that burned. To be burned. Why do you burn manuscripts? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Once, I'll tell you why. Once he finds, Uthman, once he found that there are some scripts of Quran that hasn't been written correctly, oh, in order not to do it with the book, there was itself. Quranic script that was not written correctly. Okay? So, we've got a Muslim, we've got a Muslim who confirms there is a problem with the first Quran. Therefore, second Quran was needed to be perfectly done, and Uthman does if that job around Quran, 16 days. I'll say it in one word, in Arabic. In Quran, it said, نَحْنُ نَزَّلْنَا الذِّكْرُ وَنَحْنُ لَهُ حَافِظُونَ It means God will protect Quran himself. Amazing! Allah failed to so protect the Quran! So he is claiming today oh that God will protect, will protect the Quran, the Quran today. Do you all believe the Quran no. has been protected? Yes, I do. Stay here, Zayn. We're going to show you 26 different Qurans today. We're going to show you 26 different Arabic Qurans. Arabic Qurans. Not translations. Stay right here. Any member of this group who are in here can go and say this has been written on Quran, especially anything. But if you go to a proper Quran who is confirmed that this is the correct Quran and stamped by people who know Quran well. Stay right here. Then you We're know gonna that show you 26 different schools of 27. Quran. 27. No. 26 no, no. different, 27. not just individuals, and these that's are people you, you know. That's Say, you we're going to show you a little bit. You we're going to prove to you, you that the claims Quran, that you have made you are got, absolutely I'll wrong. Tell you what, I'll tell you what. And we will see now you who yourself. is lying. You go, just Stay right here, Say. Let's continue there are on. Too many We've got a lot to do. Just watch. You listen. There are too many mosques around in the UK. We're not talking about mosques. We're not going to talk about it. Don't change the subject. Let's get back to it. Go to any mosque and get Quran from them. I did! 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 I'll show it to you! I'm going to show it to you! Wait! No, you didn't! Go to any mosque! I'm going to show it to you! Stay right here, Zayn! Stay right here! Don't move! We're going to prove it to you! Let's continue on! Go to any mosque! Let's continue on! I did that! I did that! Go to any Quran! Get that! I did that! I did that! And you will not! No, you didn't! I did that! I did! Because what information is going in Stand right here! Stand next to Daniel! And then 20 minutes later, you tell us if we don't have it! Okay. Don't leave, but let's go. Okay.
Now, what Zion is doing here is what Muslims have to do. He knows no different. Don't get upset with him. This is what he has been taught. This is what every Muslim has been taught. But we're going to show how wrong Zion is. So let's continue on. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll leave you. No, 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 no. Stay right here, because you have made a claim, and we're going to prove you wrong. Are you going? Are you going? Are you leaving? Are you running away? Please don't run away. Stay here. Now, can you see why he has to go? I can understand. This is embarrassing for him. And it's going to get more embarrassing as we go on. But this is why we have a speaker's corner. This is the only place we can do what we're going to do this afternoon. Two weeks ago, we were thrown off the ladder. We were able to get back on the ladder last week. So that we can do this kind of material. Everything we're going to do today comes straight out of Islamic tradition. We're going to look at the tafsir, we're going to look at the hadith, we're going to look at the siddha, and we're going to look at the Quran itself. Everything we're going to do is going to come from Saeed's own authority. You can see now why he had to walk away. Let's continue. So, as, um, as Uthman, he orders the Quran to be read, read it in imperfect forms. He orders it to be written in the di Quraysh dialect. It is written to be in Quraysh dialect, and he orders everything to be burned. Rest everything of everything burned. to be burned. So already you can see there's a real problem here. So you only burn manuscripts if they don't agree. So Am what? I correct? Yes. Yep. Otherwise, you leave them be yeah. so that we can look at them today. The fact that we don't have any of these manuscripts today shows that every one of them was different. Now, what Muslims will tell you, like Said said, these are nothing more than different recitations different readings okay let's continue on we agree with him don't we there were different readings yes there were different readings so i'm 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 really i'm just opening the door to you you can walk right in now because that's exactly why we're here today to talk about these different readings they're called Ahru. they're called Kirat. are you all familiar with these two words so what happens is when we look at the Islamic tradition, Uthman, who is caliph, who never met Allah, who never had any conversation with angel, finds it's all right to bring the Quran only in one dialect, only in one recitation. So today we don't know and we will never know actually what Muhammad received. We will not know. Will we, we will never know because thanks to Uthman, he ordered everything to be burned. And thanks to Islamic, thanks to Islamic tradition, we see it's confused, confused, and more confused. More confusion and more confusion. Now, we are now going to start to go into these recitations. Yeah. Now, you're our Arab friends. I don't. Sp I have had two years of Arabic, but I am not an Arab expert, am I? Yes. Say no. I'm not an Arab expert. <laughs> don't say yes. You know, Brett, you have heard me read Arabic. I can read and write Arabic, but I am please, not please, an please. expert. Is Hatun an Arab expert? Yes. No. no, she's not. No, she's now not. listen to what I'm saying, John. She's you need not. a help us here. She's don't not. just say yes to everything I say. She's Is she an Arab expert? No. Am I an Arab expert? No. Are you an Arab expert? Yes. He's an Arab speaker. Are you an Arab native speaker? Yes. Is this your language? Yes. So we're going to use him. But you didn't do this research, did you? No. no you did none of this research. The research we're going to show you today does come from Arab experts. Yes. Because we're going to look at chronic material. Now, go ahead. Let's back up. Yeah, let's just summarize. When we look at the Islamic tradition, in what happened in the time of Muhammad regarding were there different Arabic Qurans or not, Islamic tradition tells us, yes, there were different Arabic Qurans. We read it from Sahih Bukhari, and then we see there are people who are disagreeing what what is the correct Quran regarding the Surah 25? Would you like to read it for us, Jay? Yeah, let me read it. In fact, I'll read it from here. So just tell me what page we're on. Uh, the, in him. What did Muhammad say? No, no. Yeah. I was about during the during the time of Allah's apostle. 
I listened to his recitation and noticed that he recited in several different ways what Allah's Apostle had taught me. I was about to jump over him during his prayer, but I controlled my temper. And when he had completed his prayer, I put his upper garment around his neck and seized him by it and said, Who taught you this surah which I heard you recite? He replied, Allah's Apostle taught other, it to me. One. I said, You have told a lie. For Allah's Apostle has taught it to me in a different way other from one. yours. So I dragged him to Allah's Apostle and said to him, I heard this person reciting Surah Al Furqan, which is Surah 25, in this way, which you haven't taught me. On that, Allah's Apostle said, Release him. Recite it, O Hisham. Then he recited in the same way as I heard him reciting to me. Allah's Apostle then said, It was revealed in this way. The Quran has been revealed to be recited in seven ways. Oh. Seven so, different ways. What we have, Jay, two people are reciting the same surah, surah 25. And one of the listener who listens to surah 25 gets very upset with what he hears. But he wants to grab this guy from his neck, but he's patient enough to wait until prayer finishes. Soon after prayer finishes, he grabs this guy to Muhammad. Muhammad listens to the prayer. They are two different prayer, two different surah, and Muhammad says both of them are all right. Okay. okay. So, so far, why? so far in the time of I'm Muhammad, sure. we've got two, we've got people who are reciting the same surah in different ways. Okay, let, let me ask and you a question we've here, got this, yeah? You are saying they are two, they are two companions who are reciting Quran. When there was no manuscript, how they were reciting? There you Memorize. go. How so they why were they, they reciting? Yeah. And that's, how? that's a good question. How they were reciting? That's a there good question. No Th that's a good how question. So people the memorize the Surah 25 from Muhammad. Go ahead. Give us the answer. People memorize yeah, the Surah. Give us the answer. Quran didn't only compile. There are two ways how they compile. Actually, we do one know is the that oral there way and one is the written way. Okay, so, was there a written Quran at this second, time? Wait a second. I, I know you have 26 Quran here. One year on, you haven't debated that uh, 26 Quran with Mansoor and other uh, Muslim scholars. You don't have any courage to, to debate with that. We're here. They have, you know, they have. We're here. They have one hour video how the Quran was compiled. And they didn't give <laughs> any of the dates on it. Listen to me now. He didn't put any dates on it. We're going to show you the dates. Oral, yes. Okay. Okay, here oral, we go. Oral, oral compilation. Very clearly. So, so where was the, this when, Quran and where were the recitations? Just were they oral yeah. or were they written down? Surah 25. When Surah 25 recited differently, Muhammad's response to that was, it's all right because Quran is revealed to me in seven different ways. Thank you very much. Okay, so, seven different ways. Have you caught that? Seven different ways we already now know at the time of Muhammad. Now can you see why Uthman had to bring down one text? He needed to take it from those seven down to one. Am I correct? Yes. We need to move on. He needed to take it from seven down to one. So Uthman now decides to use only one Qureshi text. So Remember, in we just read it. You weren't here when we read it. You didn't, you didn't understand In 2017, Quran it shouldn't have any Quran. other Quran. It comes from oral tra tradition as well. Which one? That's you need to discuss Which oral here. tradition? Okay, let's it is let's do this. Prophet How do you know what the oral? How do you know what the oral Quran is? And just is where it? and where do you find whether the oral Quran is correct? Exactly. Okay. You is need it? to have a written Quran, exactly. right? Yes. Otherwise, you could have one Quran. You could have another one. You could have thirty different Qurans memorized, but you need to have a written one as a standard text. No, 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 am I correct? Here's the question. Here's the question. If it is compiled through written, if it is Quran compiled through oral, oral so, if it is the oral way, if it is the oral way, you know that do you all get this? No, 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 can you see if you're going to have an oral Quran? That means anybody can memorize whatever they want. Okay. But how do you know which is the real Quran? Exactly. It is has it? to be written down. Exactly. 
Right. So, where is the written text? If it is the oral Quran, is it Umar's oral Quran or is it Hisham's oral Quran? Because they are reciting two different Qurans. So, which is the correct one? We will never know. We will never know. We don't understand. We understand it perfectly. We don't even know where there was any oral Quran. Do you believe there was an oral Quran? How can you believe it or disbelieve it? Oh, really? It makes no sense. That's how the revelation Here we go. Because what is Abu Bakr's Quran? What is the Quran of Abu Bakr if it wasn't written down? So, not if, like your Bible I'm just, by Mark sir, you sir, if it is oral Quran, can you please kindly recite Surah 25 in Hisham's version, also in Umar's version? I would love to know how the which oral tradition you are going to use to recite uh, Surah She's 25? She's giving you two oral traditions in right now. Umar or right Hisham? Now. You can. Which one? Can anybody? First of all, you should, you should have I'm sure some, be able some to begin expert after. In, in, the, in the things you okay, are Hattu, talking about. Hattu, Hattu, can anybody do what you just asked? You just no, no. Is there such a thing as an Umar tradition and a Hisham tradition? No, but we read from the tradition. Umar and Hisham are disagreeing for the Surah 25. Oh, oh, oh. So, that's the question. How they were different? That's the question. It is the oral tradition. Thank so, you very much. which one is the correct? Which oral tradition so made to the it into the Bible? The so, the Quran. 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 Which oral tradition made it to the Quran? Do you hear what Thank I'm just saying? These are two different oral traditions. These are two different oral traditions. That means there's two different Qurans. Yeah, oh. They both come to Muhammad. They both recite it in front of Muhammad, and Muhammad says both are correct. So can you now see then why Uthman needed to bring it down to one tradition, one recitation? And how many were there? How many did we just read that Muhammad said there were? One, two, three, four, seven different oral traditions. And, and, and he said to both, you are both right. Okay, Amjad, did these seven exist? Did these seven exist at the time of Muhammad? Sorry? Did not, they not in written form, no. Not in manuscript did form. Did these seven oral traditions exist at the time of Muhammad? I think yes. Yes. Okay. Where they okay, exist, here we go. Where got they that exist much in the time of Abu Bakr. Yeah. Was the seven recitations, seven oral tradition, was existed at the time of Abu Bakr? Yes, so yes. because while Muhammad was alive, so Abu Bakr alive, comes no after. Was it, was it existed in the time of Umar? Yes. Yes. Was it existed in the time of Uthman? Yes. Yes. Was it existed after the time of Uthman? No. No. I don't know. No. Yeah, that's the know. problem. Why? I don't know. Listen. What do you mean you don't know? We just read it. You know. Open, you don't know. Open, open wrote so, one so, tradition. The battle of he Umar only wrote it down to perfect. one tradition. Listen, man. The Qurayshi dialect. You would understand this. The Qurayshi dialect. Yeah. Thank you. Listen, we finally you got him to. It. It's taken us 10 minutes for him to finally agree with us. Let's move on. Lot of companions were tied. You just made their point. In seven different so by the time of Uthman, there, was a there should be only well. one Quran, right? Yes. Twenty years after Muhammad died, he died in 632. Uthman compiles the final Quran in 652. 652. There are many people who are alive who wrote Quran by by heart. So there was many Qurans. So there was many Qurans. There cannot be a difference. There was many Qurans. There cannot be a difference. Like are they the same as Uthman's Quran? Yes. Okay. So now we find that country to one single Quran, and all the other ones were burned. Now here we go. You just read in Sahih on Sahih Bahari that he burned the other Qurans. He was eating. Did he burn people? And after and that, no, he burned the Quran. So, so he burned written Quran. Yes. These are written manuscripts that he burned. You don't burn He's people. He you don't burn dialogue. manuscripts. That's what it yeah, did. Why? Why? Because they were different. Yes. Why do you burn manuscripts? 
Because he compiled seven copies of the Quran. So what is the problem? Okay, here we go. All right, now. That's talk, why that, talk, why talk, talk about you, Jesus Christ. He was eating and drinking. This is most important. He was eating and drinking. And after that, okay, here we go. He wants to change the subject. They always want to change the subject when we curse in the Quran. So let's move on. We're running out of time. We're going to keep going. So what Answer happens next? You are talking he about takes that, he fame, one that one he left final six. Quran. So what, what is just, the problem? He takes that one final Quran so and he sends it out to every one province. No, yeah. So how many provinces were there? Nine. Nine, 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 nine provinces. Yes. And what are they? Basra, Baghdad, Damascus, Jerusalem, Cairo, Alexandria, Egypt, Herat, and Nishapur. Nine provinces. Yeah. Nine different, oh, nine Qurans to nine provinces, and with each Quran, he sent somebody yes. who was a teacher, somebody yes. who had memorized that Quran. Right. Yes. So you have nine men going to nine cities at the time of Uthman with nine manuscripts. Yeah. Just well, like, just when like we look at the Islamic tradition, we see Islamic tradition is a bit confused with the because with some the people say it, it has they been sent to the four cities, a lot of some people say it's been sent to, to the, the six cities, the five cities, so eight cities. Okay, I'm done. But we where know that are I'm those not nine manuscripts? Even, uh, even where they are the they nine, nine manuscripts? Different, different dialogue in the Bible. What were you here least last least week? Dialogue. We destroyed those manuscripts last week. There's not one of those manuscripts in here today. We can't find one of the manuscripts today. You better not use the top copy. That's the 8th century. You better not use the Ma'il. That's early 8th century. You better not use the Husseini. That's late 9th century. You better not use the Pentapolis. That's early 8th century. You better not use the Sada. That's early 8th century. Now, one of the major manuscripts is from the 7th century. They only begin to appear in 705. Muhammad died in 632. Uthman canonized the crime in 652. You've got a problem. We can't even find one of the manuscripts. But it gets worse than that, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. So now we know none of those manuscripts exist today. Yes. So around 650s, from 650s, there should be only one Arabic Quran. Okay? That's why Muslim tells us there is only one Quran and Indian memorize the same thing. But when you look at the Islamic tradition, actually there are more than one Quran. There are more than what? More than one Quran. So there are quite a few Qurans, you're yes. saying. Yes. So what you're going to show us today is that today, even today, in 2017, she, Hatun, has been able to collect 26 different Arabic Quran. Lie! Lie. We're going to show them to you right Lie. now. Lie. We're going to show you these 26 Quran. Oh, really? So stay right here because we're going to hold them up for you. I saw that last summer. Don't worry. Uh, how many? And you see it and Come on, we're that. ready. Are you, you ready? Have the courage to defend. Okay. You do to see these 26 cards. Let's, let's go through them then. Okay, I want all of you with Qurans to come in front here. Come stand in front here. He left the Bible. He was Yes, that's it, man. That's half one. You're dropping, you're dropping, you're dropping. That's fine, I'll get them. Okay, while they're bringing this up, let me give you some background. Hatun has gone around to the Arab speaking world. Now, Hatun is not an Arab speaker. I am not an Arab speaker. I read and write Arabic, but I do not speak Arabic. She is from Turkey. But what we're going to show you today, Muslims are not going to tell you. This is material that no Muslim wants you to know about. We're going to show you not one, not two, 26 Arabic Qurans. These are not translations. These are not English translations. These are not Turkish translations. Every one of these are in the other side. I want you to hold them up.
Okay, shall we go through them, Jay? Now hold these up, and what do we now know about these Qurans? Sir! Abjad says there's nothing. Now, Abjad, do all of these Qurans agree with each other? No! Are there two Qurans that agree with each other? No! Is there even one Quran that agrees with the Quran we have here today? No! This is the Quran we use today. It's the same Quran. This is not the same Quran as these ones we have here today. There are twenty-six Arabic Qurans, and we've got this Quran as the twenty-seventh one. Whatever you like. Which one? No, no, no. You can see. Okay. You can see the Muslims are starting to get upset now. It's understandable why they're upset. This is normal. Muslims have not heard this before. And everything we're going to share with you next. Which one is Quran's Quran? Which one is Quran's Quran? Which one? Which one? Give it to me. It's no Quran's Quran. No, no. I will say this is my book. No, what is my book? One. One is my book. Not one is it. Okay. Which one? Which one is it? Which one? 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 They're all the same. They're all the same. Okay, have to help us now. Let's unpack. Let's unpack. I want the Muslims to keep quiet for a minute. I want the Muslims to keep quiet so we can say what's going on here. There are, there are 27 Arabic Qurans out here. One of them, one of them is the Hafs Quran. One of them is the Hafs Quran. So we've got 26 Arabic Qurans. They are all, they are all different from one another, and all of them are born from the Quraysh dialect. All okay. of them are born from the Quraysh dialect. Okay, so, are... so every one of these Qurans, are you listening? Every one of these Qurans comes from the Quraysh dialect. But there's a problem. Now, one of these Qurans that we're holding up is the same as the other Quran. No, that's it. And every one of them is written in Arabic. We are proud of our Quran and compilers. You're getting not very proud after today. Okay, how to? Every time I want you to explain what's you going on here. So, we are proud of our country. We've got it. Millions of people are going to die hard. Which Quran are you from? Other one, other side, okay? So, we've got a Quran. Let me, let's just go through them one to one, okay? 100, 100 by which one? 100 by which one? Yes. More, more than 100. More than 100. Now, do you notice? These are not translations. None of these are translations. Every one of these are Arabic Qurans that you can buy today. You can go and buy them yourself. They are available for everybody. But do you notice you will find many of them will have different colors. Do you see the red there? Do you see the red there? Do you see the red there? Every time you see a red word, that is a variant from this Quran that I have here, the Hafs Quran. This is the Quran you're looking for. This is Al Duri's Quran. Every time you see a red word, it is different from this Quran here. Now, tell me, Al Duri, how many differences have you been able to find? Which Al Duri is this? Al Duri, Al Duri 4645. Okay, so in this Quran, we've got 4,645 variations versus half Quran. Hey, do you hear what she said? No, I didn't. In just this Quran, this is Al Duri's Quran. Dated his date is from 860. Al Duri is from the 9th century. This Quran from the 9th century has over 4,000 manuscript variants 
from the Quran we have today. 4,600 4, differences. 4,600. Why have 4, you Muslims not told us this before? Are you Why is you Muslims have not they said this before? Are you this are you this no, is just channel. one of 26. He says, show me. No, no, show no, you. No, no. Every are, time you see about a red mark, Islamic that channel. is a variant. And they said, we choose just Look only here. one book. Not one, the two, three, okay. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, twelve variants oh. in just these two you pages. From that. your Quran, and that I is know, different and I get from the Quran we're using today. This is the Hafiz Quran. Do the Quran. You have it wrong. You don't know this. So you don't know this topic. You are not Look at it. You are not what? Don't come with words. It's simple Arabic. This is not globalization. I don't know. The walls are right there. There's the Dhamma. There's the Kafa. There's the Kasra down here. Of course they have vowels. Read it again. In the original manuscript. They have vowels there. In the original manuscript. In the written. We're showing you the written one. This is nine This is the written book. Look at there's a Kafa. There's a Kasra. There's a Dhamma. It has vowelization. Oh my God. And this is called variant. And this is what the Muslims did not want you to know. There is not one Quran. Even today. Talk about your angels. So, uh, Bible. That's just what? That's Quran number one. This is El Duris Quran. Contains 4,645 variations to the half Quran. Here's another one. This goes to the back. Listen, it goes to the back. Put it back. That, that number 11 goes to the back. A light Ibn Kali. A light Ibn Kali. Look, I open up to any page. Can you see the blue words? Every time you see a blue word, that is a manuscript variant. A proof, you say. They believe that this is just recitation. Folks, we're going to show you this is much more damaging than recitation. Every time you see a blue word, that is a different word than the Quran we use today. So many variants. This is al lahid Ibn Khalad's Quran. It is differences from the Hafs in 5,000 words. 5,000 words. They are different in this Quran and the Quran we're using today. 5,000 words different between these two Quran. Why are you not He's high. He's He's not trying to go to the Quran. He's already. He doesn't want to defend it. Here is another Quran. This is Shubha ibn Ayaz Quran. It is 504 differences from the Hafs. Ayas has 504 differences between this book and this book that we have here, the Quran we're using today. Uh, there is uh, a lot of version not said. This is another Arabic Quran. This is Yaqub's Quran. It is different in 1765 areas with the Hafs Quran. So this one was written in 805, early 9th century. It is 1,700 words that are different in this book than the Quran we're using today. Every time you see a variant here, they even write the variants in the margins. When you hide that and you are now, that, you are absolutely. Muslims will say, if you look at this graph here, we're going to put this graph up on the screen. We will show you this. Okay. Hatu. These are different Atlanta. cities, right? Oh, yes. There you can see Mecca. There you can see Medina. There you can see Damascus. There you can see Kufa. And here you can see Basra. Five different cities. Each one had a scholar go to these cities. Each one had a scholar go to these cities, right? Those six scholars had students. Those students wrote their own Quran, did they not? Yes. And each student had variations from the Quran we're using today. Yes. Let's go and just give a few examples. Okay. For example, Al Bazi is the student of Ibn Kathir who was in Mecca. Al Bazi is disagreeing with the Hafs Quran in 1000 
right to form one. So Albanzi disagrees with the Huskan in a thousand ninety four differences. And we've got Kumbo Quran. Albanzi disagrees with Kumbo in three hundred twelve different words. So even between the two students, they disagree with each other in over three hundred places. I was and then in Kufa, in Kufa, they've got Hamza's Quran, he's got two, stu two students, Kalat and Kalat. So we have Kalat and Kalat, students of Hamza, and then even Kalat disagrees with himself how many times? So Kalat has two Quran, one of them contains 2,629 variations, other Quran contains 2,892 so you have one student that writes two different Qurans and one has 2,800 variations. It is attributed to the him. So you can see, yeah. he did not even agree with himself. Yeah. And can then, you see why this is so damaging? You want to debate can you see why this is so and damaging? The, you want to debate and then we look at the students' writings, comparing them. We say students are agreeing with one another in 601 words. Okay. Can you then see, while these are hundreds and thousands of difference, and these happen from city to city to city, look at the dates. These dates are the 9th century, not the 7th century. So the Quran is changing even as late as 200 years. 200 years after the Hobbit, they're still coming up with new Quran. So here's what we've got. Look and get the, not all of the 26 yet. Look and get the, those Quran. Quran scholars, they are disagreeing with Hans Quran in 25,329 words. So would you add up all these differences between the 26 Quran? Hans has already found 45,000 differences. Did you hear that? There are 45,000 differences between the 26 Qurans and the huffs we're using today. So, Hatu, Hatu, when was the huffs that we're using today? When was this Quran finalized? When was this Quran canonized? So, Imam, even though Imam Hatsli died in 805, the current Quran has been officialized in Egypt in 1924. So, the huffs were talking about is this man right here. In Kufa. He's from Kufa. He studied under Abu Bakr Hussein. And he, his name is right here. He died in 805. He died in the early 9th century. This is the huff from which this book is taken. But we don't even know. Because we don't have a manuscript. We have no idea where the Al-Azhar scholars got this book from. Probably from the Ottoman Empire. Probably from the Ottoman Empire. Now, what we're going to do, folks, we're going to show you how different some of these are. Because many of you Muslims, those of you who are watching, and others who are here, you will say these are not, these do not change the meaning. You said that. You said that. That this is nothing more than Kiria. Ahru. These are different recitations. They're different pronunciations. Yeah, even no, the they're not. Even with the Bible. These are not so different pronunciations. Different, but you're not going to believe us anyway. Now, there's no way we can show you all 45,000. There's too many, are there not? So what we want to do, we want to show you one after another. We're going to show you just a few of these 45,000. 45,339. I am talking about the Bible also. So I'm not afraid. You are a scared I get your point. I get all your. I get all your point. But you don't want to get my point. This is the issue. That's why. That's why I am talking. What do we need to do? There's a in Quran, so it's a bullshit religion. But the same thing is with your Bible. It's also. Let's 
say it's both. Let's start. Look at the differences. See? So, so most Muslims, whenever we bring this up, they always say, oh, now look at Surah 1, Ayah 4. Hatim, they always look at Surah 1, Ayah 4. Yes, so they, they recite the Surah 1, which is the Fadia, and then they say it has nothing to do with the meaning. Let me, let me tell you. Let me read the Surah okay. Fatiha for you. So in the Hus, it says yeah. Maliki. Maliki means the only oh, no. owner. Yeah. In the Wurs, it says Maliki, which means the king. Okay. Yeah. The owner, the king, they both have the same meaning. They are similar. And that's what the Muslim think they're talking about. This is the one they always give as an example. Yes. If you look on the internet, this is the one they always show. That's not very much different, is it? It's all right. I don't have that much problem with The owner well. could be the king, the yeah. king could be the owner. Yeah. But we're not going to spend much time on that. So let's look at Surah 2, Ayah 10. Surah 2, Ayah 10 says, Yaksibuna. What's that mean, Yaksibuna? They lie. It means they lie. Okay? And over on this side, it says, Yukazibuna. What does Yukazibuna? They cause lies. They cause, they accuse others of lies. So, they lie here, but on this side, they accuse others of lies. So, they don't lie, they accuse someone else. Does that change the meaning? Absolutely, that changes the meaning. Anjan, how do you explain that? Uh, uh, explain that. Explain I, that to me. I am not Arabic expert. I can't oh. explain that. Oh. The Arabic expert will explain that. Don't hey. act this Arabic we have an Arabic Get an expert. Muslim so, Arabic expert. He would explain that. If you look at the verse, are they due the Arabic to hell because they lie, they lie? Or are they due to hell oh. because they accuse oh. someone else of lying? Oh, really? Which one you would like to know, oh. wouldn't you? Yes. Oh. There's the first problem. Even when you look at the graph, you see it is different from one and another. And you see, Amjad is now backtracking. So now let's look yeah, at Surah 2, Ayah 15. I don't so, now we're going to look at Hus, and we're going to look at Kalun. So, Surah 2... We have it against you also. So, what is that for? We don't make the claims about the Bible that you make about the Quran. We know the Bible's written by man. We never made these claims about the Bible. You say this comes from God. You say it is perfect. You claim it's never been changed. We're showing you where it's been changed. Here's the problem. So let me respond to that. A lot of dialogue happened with your uh, Bible. Yeah. Greece, Greece. Let us We know there's variants. We've always been admitted that. Yeah. And we know where the variants are. We are. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. In this world today, though, there are the changes in the Bible. Reason for that. Christians have been open about the scripture. They look at the Bible and then they see the footnote. The fact that he knows that, the fact that he even claims that, is because we are the one that told him. Yes. We have found the variants. We know where they all are. We have been transparent about it. Why have you Muslims never admitted this? Why have you Muslims never been this word? And why are you now so upset? We're going to prove to you that your Quran is comes from man. It does not come from God. Thank you very much. It does not come from Muhammad. It does not come from Osman. You are admit now. We will show you there are many Qurans. Let's continue on. So look at the Surah two verse. 58, Habs and Kalun Quran are disagreed with one another. And you don't say it. So, you so are what is not for me? Then there what is not for me? And your Bible forgive. also. We uh, shall forgive. That's, it shall that's what my point. point. It shall be forgiven. So is They're God different. forgiving? Is we God? Or is it coming as a default? Default. Does the, no? It we depends on which one you read. He's expert. He's expert. You are said no. About your no, no, no. Does it? What are you talking so about? So who does the forgiving? We God? Or is it arbitrary are you forgiving? Him or him? That's huge theological. Are, are you asking him or telling him? One, one are you asking him or telling him? What what is it? One so asking him for the Arabic. We're asking him for the Arabic. We are talking about your holy book. Are you taking it seriously? Are you taking it seriously? 
Thank you. Can you see why we're doing this? Now let's go at Surah 2, Ayah 125. Surah 2, Ayah 125. Half Quran versus Ibn Amar Quran. So we're going to another Quran. We're trying to get as many different Qurans to show you how they differ from the Hafs. So in this verse, Surah 2, Ayah 125, it says, Take. Do they take this place now? Or has it already been taken? As so the here, Amir says. Ita Kizu versus Ita Kazu. What's the difference? Ita Kizu versus Ita Kazu. It doesn't know. What is the difference? What is the difference? I'm asking. They take it. Say it again. Does it take? Does the other one they took? They took. Past tense. So one is now taken. Now, I'm one in the future. So next time, next time, bring the chronic expert. A chronic expert next time, yeah? Don't bring him. So, can you see why we're doing this? Can you see why this is important? Is this important for all of you? Probably not. But for the Muslims, do you have a question about this? You're right in the camera, sir. So you're right in the camera. So, even Muslim makes a claim that not even a dot changed, it changed the theological uh, context. That's shame, actually. That, that's shame, actually. Okay. Now let's look at this one. 2, 140. Here you have Takakuna. Takakuna versus Yakaluna. So Takakuna versus Yakaluna. They say, you say, and they say. Okay, you say or they say. And the verse says, or do you say, Ibrahim, Ibrahim Yakub, and Azaf, they were Jews. Oh, yeah. Over here in the watch it says, or do they say? That Ibrahim Yaqub which is which one? So when it says you, it is talking someone very close. When it says they, it is someone else. Group of other people. Can you see? Or they say that Ibrahim. So you and they are both plural, but it's two different key characters. So two different meanings. So who knows better than Allah? You or the other? Can you see why we're doing this? Daniel Mansour is here. He's not Okay, here you have two, 184. So this is Surah 2 verse 184, Hafs versus Hashab Ibn Amar's Quran. And Masakina. Miskina and Masakina. What's the difference? You know it's Arabic. One. It's our king. <laughs> you know it's king. Wait, wait, wait. So, for those unable to fast, wait, wait. can they feed wait, one poor here. man or many poor men? One poor man or many poor men? Can you see why we're doing this? Is this different? It is different. It's different. John, just don't worry about it. Your nightmare is here. Don't worry, you too. Wait, wait. Okay, look at the next one. In half Quran, we got a great, in the worst Quran, it is a great sin. So you have the great sin versus plenty of sin. Yes. Does that make a difference? Yes. 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 Huge difference, does it not? Yes. Okay? Let's do the next one. Let's go. Surah 2 verse 251. Hafs versus Warsh al Azarve. So we've got three Warsh Quran. This is only one of them. This is one of the three Warsh conversions. In Hafs Quran, it is repelling. In the Warsh Quran, it is defense. Allah okay, defense. You, know, you can read it. Is there a difference between those two words? Yes. yes. Okay, what's the difference? What does that mean? There is, there is no nothing. Yeah. So this is repelling some men, yeah. and this one defend okay. against men. No, no, no. So you have two Perfect. different there meanings is, for two is, different uh, words. Yeah. Okay. So I've got different. Another example. This is Surah 3, verse 37. We've got house, and then we've got Al Bazir. In the half Quran, it is, and he put under the chair. Versus in Al Bazir, it is he took charge of. Uh, of her. So Can you see the difference there? Okay, let's continue on. Surah 3, Ayah 79. In Hafs Quran, we've got you teach. In the uh, Yaqub's Quran, we've got you know. So you have two Ali Bills versus Ta 
Here we go again. There's something that Islam does to people. And this is what Islam does to people. You used to be a nice guy. Now that you're a Muslim, I'm sorry, but Islam is doing this to you. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. Calm down. Let's continue on. 0 for Ayah 43. 0 for verse 43. In the Hafs Quran, sir, can you read it for us? Yes. You want to underline? Yeah. And then can you read it? Have Hafs Quran for us? Okay, what does that mean and what is the difference? You On the Huff side, you touch them sexually. Sexual. Plus, if you touch them by your hands. By your hand, non sexually. So it's two complete contexts. One is sexual, one is non sexual. The same verse, two different Qurans. You cannot say that this doesn't change the meaning. Change the application of Muslims' prayer life. What's that? Change the applications of the Muslims' prayer life. Okay, let's summarize what we just done. And you're going to show you what we've just done today. I know that very well. Now, Hunter, we've looked at these Qurans, haven't we? And you came up with 26. We don't have time to go through all 26. We're just showing you a smattering. We held up the 26 Qurans for you. We showed you that these are Qurans you can get today. Bullshit. You can get them. And that's why she got them. The fact that you Muslims have not looked at these differences. The fact that you Muslims have not been opaque about it or transparent about it. The fact you Muslims know everything about the Bible because we tell you everything about the Bible. We are transparent about the Bible. You can criticize the Bible all you want, but as soon as we criticize the Quran, look how angry they get. Look how angry they get. They have a problem with this. Here's the thing. Your imams, your sheikhs, they didn't even bother to provide, provide critical version of the Quran for you. Now, explain what do you mean by critical version? I should be able to go to bookshop and buy a Quran which gives me all those variations instead of for me to take time from my friends and my families and find them. These Who are thousands of variations. So we how, can show you about 20. For 100 years, 35,000 we can show you. Muslims should able to provide us something, but they did not even bother for your eternity, sir. Now we have to do that, that work for, uh, by ourselves. So we look at the 26 Qurans plus half Quran that makes 27 different Arabic Qurans, and we've got 45,339 variations between them. They do not, they do not match with the half Quran. You've been told lie for centuries, and still your friends are not allowed to get hear the truth. That is very shameful, sir. Okay, now look it. We have been showing you that the variations, these variations, are not the ones from the time of Abu Bakr. Those were all eradicated by Uthman when he canonized the Quran in his final form in 652. So you cannot say these are the seven Ahru, these are the seven Kiryat, these are the seven variants that Muhammad was talking about. This has nothing to do with those seven Ahru. These are all much later. Look at the day, 864, 904, 812, 835, 859, 856, 843. These are the 9th and 10th century. Hundreds of years later, these Qurans start to get changed. And they start to have variations. And those variations still continue today. That's why we were able to buy these Qurans. Hattu bought these Qurans. These are her Qurans. Not one of them agrees with each other. And not one of them agrees with the Quran I have here. And these are my Quran. So what's the problem he asked? That proves that the Qurans that you have today, there is no one Quran. There is no one Quran. There is not one Quran. There is not two Quran. 
That is not fourth Quran. That is not fourth Quran. That is not fifth Quran. That is not sixth Quran. That is not seventh Quran. That is not eighth Quran. There are twenty-six different Arabic Quran. Different Quran. Arabic Quran. What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? You haven't even been here. He has no idea what we're talking about. Here we go. So we have shown you 26 Qur'an that disagree with this Qur'an. 26 one that disagree with themselves. Yes. So who wrote the Qur'an? Good question. Did Muhammad write it? No. Did Uthman write it? No. Did al duty write it? No. Did Khaldun write it? No. Did Hafs write it? No. I'm still waiting. Exactly. No, we can go on and on. on. And none of these men wrote Matthew, the Quran. Matthew wrote it. And now can you see why we're bringing this up? Matthew wrote it. Can you see why we're writing, why we're saying it? Now, the Bible we know is written by men. Yes. We've always said so. Matthew wrote Mark. Mark wrote Mark. Sorry. Matthew wrote Matthew. Luke wrote Luke. John wrote John. We know. We've always been clear that these were written by many men. But Muslims, you need to be clear that your Quran does not come from God, does not come from Muhammad, and does not come from Abu Bakr, certainly does not come from Uthman. It looks like you've got many Qurans, and none of them agree. Therefore, it is a book written by men. It is not divine. It is not eternal. It was never set down. It was never complete. And it has always been changed. But, but if the Muslims, if the Muslims are looking at book, looking at revelation, which is identified as the eternal word of God, which is identified as sent down, and which is identified as the complete, then they need to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ is identified as the eternal word of God. He the came. eternal word of God. He came from the heaven. The eternal word of God. The Who is the eternal word of God? Jesus. Is Jesus eternal? Yes. Was Jesus sent down? Yes. Was Jesus complete? Yes. Is Jesus unchanging? Yes. We got it. We destroyed the Quran in the manuscripts last week. We destroyed the kid on the novel this week. In three weeks, we're going to destroy Islam itself. We'll see you in three weeks.